Hey guys, it's Isaac. Welcome to In Kids TV. You know what? I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that you are ready for an awesome day today. Because you know what? Today is Good Friday. Today is like the best Friday of the year. It's the goodest Friday ever. Because we remember today that Jesus died on the cross for us. You know, this weekend, we remember that Jesus died on the cross, but he didn't just stay dead. He rose again. God sent his son down to die for our sins, and he rose again. He beat death, and he beat sin. And you know, we get to remember that this weekend. And you know what? I'm so pumped that you are here, and we get to do church today. So get ready for some awesome praise and worship, an awesome working word, some message, some game, all of it. I hope you're ready. I hope you got your Bible, your notepad. But first, let's praise Jesus. Here we go. Here we go, we're gonna clap. Higher than the sky, your love, your love is deeper than the sea. Your grace, your grace is washing over me and calling me your own, your own. It's burning through the shadows. I see the truth, there's nothing to fear. Your word, your way, your promise everlasting. Over and over, I see your hand. Higher than the sky, your love, your love is deeper than the sea. Your grace, your grace is washing over me and calling me your own. My tower in the battle You are here with nothing to fear Your voice, your voice My river in the desert Over and over I see your hand Higher than the sky Your love, your love is deeper than the sea Your grace, your grace is washing over me And calling me your own Your own We're going to sing this out real loud. Pretty sure you guys know this, so say it after me. Here we go. Higher than the sky. Higher than the sky. Your love is all mine. Love is all mine. We're lifted Jesus high. We're lifted Jesus high. And this is our cry. And this is our cry. Let's jump, 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 jump. Your grace, your grace is washing over me and calling me your own, your own. Higher than the sky, your love, your love is deeper than the sea. Your grace, your grace is washing over me and calling me your own, your own. Shout a praise to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, moving in our midst, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, working in this place, I worship you. God, I 
Thank you, Father. Hey, we're going to watch the instructions to our Minute to Win It game right now. Egg roll. A typical pizza box is made of lightweight cardboard. In this challenge, the contestant using the box as a fan must propel two raw eggs across the stage and into a predetermined zone. The unorthodox shape of the egg, however, will cause it to roll in unpredictable directions. Thus, the journey to the final destination will be a difficult one. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds will result in elimination. Hey, I'm going to have a turn now. Do you reckon I can do it in 60 seconds? I don't know. Let's see. All right. Are you ready? Here I go. Three, two, one. This does not work. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got one egg. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Go, play, go. Okay. 
Okay. Make sure you email us your videos at inkids at inchurch.com.au. We want to see how hilarious it is for you. My arms are still really sore, so I'm going to go take a nap now. See you later. You've got that there, yeah? You can eat that now if you want. If, you, if you're hungry, you want to eat it. But if you can wait 15 minutes, you'll get another one. So we're gonna, we're just gonna walk out of here for a couple of minutes and then we'll be back, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, all right. And I'll, when I come back in, if you haven't eaten it, you get another one. Okay. Is that exciting? Cool. In Kids TV, I'm Emily, and it's Good Friday. So, of course, I've got a hot crust bun, which I may eat in a bit. But first, it is actually time for the working word. But why do we call it the working word? That's right, because God's word works. I hope you said that super loud wherever you're watching this from today. Our working word comes from Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 25. And it says, All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory, but God treats us much better than we deserve. And because of Christ Jesus, he freely accepts us and sets us free from our sins. God sent Christ to be our sacrifice. Christ offered his life's blood so that by faith in him, we could come to God. How amazing is that? Because of what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross, we can come freely to God. We can be a part of his family. This is why we get to celebrate Good Friday. And bonus, we do get to eat hot crust buns. Well, it's an amazing day today, Good Friday, and I want to tell you a story about a little boy whose name was Andrew. Andrew was just like most kids his age, and, you know, he had lots and lots of thoughts for himself and lots of questions that he had, and one of the thoughts that he had one day was, how come Adam and Eve broke the one rule in the Garden of Eden? He said to his mum and dad, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Just one rule. I could keep one rule. We've got so many rules when we go to school. We've got so many rules at home and we can keep those rules. So if you had just one rule, surely that was so easy to keep. I don't understand how they could possibly have broken the one rule and made the whole world broken for all of us. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. His dad and his mum just looked at him and smiled. And they said, hmm. well, Andrew, tomorrow we are going to go out for just a couple of hours. 
and you are allowed to stay home by yourself. We think you're old enough to do that for just a couple of hours. So your sister will be at work and you can stay home and you can do anything you like. Except there's a box in the lounge room which you can't touch. So anything at all you can do tomorrow except touch that one box in the lounge room. Andrew thought to himself, this is going to be the best day ever. I'm going to be able to do whatever I like. So, so cool. Well, the next morning, Andrew woke up and sure enough, there was nobody home. He thought to himself, mum and dad said I could do anything I like. So he went down to the kitchen and he looked in the pantry cupboard and he saw the chocolate and he thought, I'm going to have that for breakfast. And so he opened it up and he had chocolate for breakfast. It was delicious, although he did feel just a little bit sick afterwards. So he went into the lounge room and he got out his Nintendo Switch and he just thought, I'm going to have the best day. And he sat down to start to play. And out of the corner of his eye, he saw the box. It was a pretty cool looking box. And he thought to himself, I'm allowed to do anything. I wonder why I'm not allowed to touch that box. Hmm. But he went back to playing his game. Then he had this moment and he thought to himself, my sister's not home and I know she keeps a diary. I'm going to go into her room and see if I can find it. So he went into her room and he started to pull things out of the drawers and he started to, he, he looked under the bed and then he pulled back the covers on the bed and he looked in the bed and he couldn't find it anywhere. But then he looked at the room and he thought, hmm. I'm just going to leave it like that because, you know, mum and dad said I could do anything I wanted. And so he left his sister's room in a great big mess and he went back and he went out into the lounge room again and he jumped on the lounge for a little while and then he looked and he looked and he looked and he looked and he couldn't stop looking at that box. Mm, I wonder what's in it. So Andrew walked over and he, he just touched the lid of the box and he put his ear down to hear, couldn't hear anything, couldn't see inside the box. Mm, I wonder what's in it. So Andrew got on the telephone and he rang his friend Mark and he said, Mark, you know what? Mum and Dad have gone out. My sister's out. They're not going to be back for maybe another half an hour. There's a box in the lounge room that I can't touch. I've been allowed to do anything I wanted. I've wrecked my sister's room. I've eaten chocolate for breakfast. I've played Nintendo Switch. But I can't touch the box. What do you reckon's in it? Mark said, well, Andrew... You could just have a peek in the box, like just a little tiny peek in the box. Nobody would ever know. Andrew thought to himself, that's a great idea. I'll just have a little peek in the box. I won't open it. I'll just have a little peek in the box. So he got off the phone to his friend Mark and he went back to the lounge room and he looked at the box and he thought, should I? If I just have a little peek, mum and dad will never know that I had a look. And so he took the box close to the window and he opened the box just a little tiny bit to peek inside. <gasps> and the little bird that was in there flew out and flew out the open window. <gasps> what was Andrew going to do? Now his mum and dad would know that he touched the box. He had just one rule. 
and he couldn't keep the one rule. He put the box back in his place and he was thinking to himself, what am I going to do? And he went to his sister's room and he cleaned it up like it was so perfect. He made the bed, he folded her clothes, he put them all back, he made it so neat and tidy. And then he went into his room and he cleaned up his room. And then he went to the kitchen and he cleaned up the kitchen so it was so neat and so clean and so tidy. And then he sat down on the lounge and he was reading a book when his mum and dad came home. And his dad and his mum said to him, Hi, Andrew, how was your morning? He went, Great. And his dad said to him, Did you touch the box? And Andrew looked up at his dad and he went, I cleaned my sister's room. You should see how clean it is. And Andrew, his, his dad said to him, Andrew, that's great, but did you touch the box? And he looked at his dad and he said, Dad, I cleaned my room. It's the cleanest it's ever been. I've been such a good boy. You should check my room. And he, Andrew's dad said, Andrew, that, that's great, but did you touch the box? And Andrew said, Mum, you should see how clean the kitchen is. I cleaned the kitchen for you. And his mum said, that, that's great, Andrew. I really appreciate that. But did you touch the box? What was Andrew going to do? If he said no, his mum and dad would know that he had lied. If he says yes... His mum and dad would know that he couldn't keep one rule. Oh. He looked down. He thought for a minute. And then he said to his mum and dad, I, um, I rang my friend Mark and, and he told me just to have a peek in the box. And so I just had a peek in the box. his mum and dad said, oh, and what happened? And Andrew went, the little bird flew out and it flew away. And his mum and dad sat with him on the lounge and they took the box and they said, you know what? You've just uh, learned something that we all need to learn and that is that we all sin and we all fall short of what God has planned for us. All of us, like Adam and Eve, when we're tempted, we can do the wrong thing. We can sin and it doesn't matter how good you are afterwards, it doesn't change the fact that you've done the wrong thing. And Andrew just looked at himself and he said, well, how do I fix that? If me being good doesn't fix what I've done wrong, then how do I fix that? And his mum and dad smiled and they said, well, that's why it's Good Friday. Because Jesus took the punishment for the things that we do wrong. It's like we open the box of sin, but Jesus closes it again. He took the punishment for the things that we do wrong. We all, every single one of us in the whole world, whether we're big or whether we're small, we all need Jesus. We all need him as our saviour and we all need him to forgive us because we do the wrong thing. And it doesn't matter how good we try to be afterwards. It doesn't change the fact that we all fall short of what God planned for us. But Jesus, he came and he died in our place to take the punishment for the sin of the whole world. 
He loves us that much. So, Andrew, if you ask, Jesus will forgive you. And if you ask, he will be your friend and help you to live every day the way that God wants you to live. Andrew looked at his mum and dad and said, that is amazing. That is the best news I've ever heard. Can we do that now? Can you do that now? You could ask Jesus to forgive you for the things that you've done wrong. And you could ask Jesus to be your friend as well. Let's close our eyes and let's pray. And if you want to, you can pray this prayer with me right now. Father God, I know that sometimes I do the wrong thing. Sometimes I say things that I shouldn't. I think things that I shouldn't. Or I do things that I shouldn't. And I ask you to forgive me. Jesus, thank you that you died on the cross for me. That you took my sin. And I ask you today to come and be part of my life and be my friend. Help me to live the best life I can live. Help me to live the way God always planned for me to live. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer today, we'd love to know. You can let us know at inkids at inchurch.com.au or if you're watching from somewhere else in the whole wide world today, then you can contact your local church and let them know that you today asked Jesus to be your best friend and you gave your life to him. Hey guys, it's me again. What an awesome morning we've just had at In Kids TV. You know, I pray that that message blessed you. You know, I'm so thankful to God for what he's done and, and the fact that we get to remember that Jesus died for us. Jesus died for our sins on Good Friday, but he didn't just stay dead. He rose again, and we get to remember that. So I hope you remember that with your family this weekend. I hope that you have a go of one of the games. How funny was it watching Christina flap her arms about? I thought that was pretty silly. And you know what? I hope that you have an awesome week. Hey, don't forget that we want to pray for you. If you have anything that you want us to pray for you about, head back to the In Kids TV page on the church website and go down a little bit, and it says prayer requests. And you can write whatever you want us to pray for. And we'll get those and we will pray just for you. Because we want to pray for you. We want to make sure that while we can't be a kids church, we still pray for you. And that we can see God do amazing miracles even while we're still apart. So I hope you have an awesome week. We will see you on Sunday for Easter Sunday. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.